there were a total of 494 apples and mangoes at a fruit store. For over 7 of the number of apples was 240 more than 3 quarter of the number of mangoes. How many apples were there at the fruit store? So I'm going to draw a simple model for the apples and the mangoes. Based on the question, I know that 4 over 7 of the apples is actually 240 more than 3 quarter of the mangoes. So here is 3 quarter of the mangoes. And here is 4 over 7. So I can cut the model okay, of the apples into 4 parts, right, since it's 4 over 7. So I would, if we were to cut it into 4 parts, what I have here is 1, 2, 3, 4 parts. And this 240, I can also cut into 4. So when I cut the 240 into 4, what do I get? Okay, let me erase this. 240 when I actually cut into 4 parts okay, it's divided by 4 and I actually get 60 per part so I'm going to cut this into 60 per part so this is the original 240 cut into 4 parts next I know that this actually represents 3 quarters of the mangoes, so I cut into 3 parts. So 1, 2. We know that the number of apples here and the number of mangoes here must be the same. However, they are represented by different number of units. This is represented by 4 units, this is represented by 3 units. So I must make them equal. How do I make 4 units and 3 units equal? I can use the lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 gives you 12. Okay, so that means from here to here it must be 12 units. From here to here it must be 12 units. So that means this must be 3 units each. Because everything should add up to 12 units. Okay, whereas this must be 4 units each. Because everything must add up to 12 units. Okay, so in a simple way of knowing how come this is 3 units is you just count 1 box, 2 box, 3 box, this will be 3 units, and 1 box, 2 box, 3 box, 4 box, this will be 4 units. So that will allow you to find the lowest common multiple easily, which 12 units. 12 units. Okay, now. I know that this represents 4 over 7, right? And this represents 3 quarter. But if I were to draw up one hole, okay, I need to draw up one hole. What can I do? Okay, let's complete the model. Okay, to make up one hole, I know, need to know that I, I do know that, okay, you can see that one part. It's actually 3 units plus 60, right? Okay, so with 4 over 7, I need another 3 parts. Let me erase this so that I have more space to actually get the, draw the other 3 parts. Okay, so now I want to draw the remaining 3 over 7. I need to have 3 units plus 60 another 3 units plus 60 because this is another part and another 3 units plus 60 this will give me the total number of apples because this is 3 over 7 next since this is only 3 quarter, I need to make it into one hole. 
I draw another four units make it into one hole okay now we know that there is a total of 494 apples and mangoes so all these add up to 494 okay let's count the number of units 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 units right 21 plus 4 25 plus 4 29 plus 4 33 plus 4 37 units so I have 37 units all together okay how I get these 37 units again I'm going to show you 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 plus 4 will give you 25 plus 4 will give you 29 plus 4 will give you 33 plus 4 will give you 37 so all together you have 37 units what else do I have I also have 60 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 I have 60 multiplied by 7 and this will give me a total of 494 okay, because we know that the total number of fruits is 494 next I will write 37 units plus 60 multiplied by 7 will give me 420 equals to 494 okay now to find 37 units is actually 494 minus 420 this will give me 74 now I can find one unit which equals to 74 divided by 37 which gives me 2 let me bring this a little bit higher this is equals to 2 so I know that 1 unit equals to 2 now what is the question asking for the question is actually asking for how many apples were there at the fruit store so very simple I would first find the number of mangoes okay number of mangoes which I can see from here is 16 units okay so I find 16 units so 16 units this is the number of mangoes right and it is actually 2 multiplied by 16 to give me 32 okay since there's 32 mangoes will I be able to find out the number of apples yes I can since I know the total which is 494 to find the number of apples you draw a line here Okay, to find apples, I just need to use the total, which is 494, right? 494. Subtract off 32. And I'll get 462. So there were 462 apples at first. 